Hey guys, it's Dr. Cameron Dennis, physical therapist with Back on Track Therapy and Wellness out here in Wapakoneta, Ohio. And I wanted to get on and talk a little bit about the biggest problem that I see with uh, return to running uh, rehab um, in most physical therapy clinics. So in order, well, where should I start? With injury, the most, uh, the, for, with, with non-traumatic injuries, uh, the most common cause is because the body is unable to attenuate or to um, accept force. Hi, Tara. The body is unable to accept force in a certain direction through certain structures, such as tendons, ligaments, and muscles. So when the body is unable to do that, a lot of times you'll have either inflammation or um, uh, increased sensitivity of the nerves um, or even more serious injuries. So basically what I think most of the therapy um, being done in outpatient clinics um, across the country, and while there are very good um, clinics out there, um, here's what I've seen. And, and the reason that... Um, one way that I know this is because when I do ask these runners in the running injury support group that I run, um, I say, "What you know? What types of what types of exercises are they having you do for your uh, return to running?" And I'll get a lot of, "Well, they'll have me on a bozu ball, or they'll have me doing squats. They'll have me doing exercises with a theraband, things like that." Now, while these exercises can be helpful um, in the process of returning from injury, uh, I don't believe that that's really where you can stop because running is actually pretty difficult, pretty hard on the body. So um, when you're not sufficiently challenging the tissues that are either um, weak or the nerves potentially irritated, um, the, the tendons are maybe unable to accept force properly um, because they haven't been used in that way because of an injury. Um, you're basically not setting yourself up for, um, for uh, return to running. So you're putting yourself at a higher risk of um, repeated injury. Uh, so if you could say sitting is an activity that would be like a zero difficulty uh, or zero challenge on the body um, as far as physical activity. If running is a 10, I believe the challenge level for most rehab and outpatient clinics for return to running is somewhere between uh, five and six. They're doing a lot of sitting exercises, even if they are doing standing exercises. Typically, they're unweighted exercises. So the things that I think that we need to start incorporating um, and I've been guilty of, of not providing enough challenge in the past myself. Um, so the important thing is to, one, um, make sure that you're properly loading. Is if, if you're doing squats, you need to add weight, okay, because the, the um, weight-bearing bones and muscles of the legs um, and of the trunk have to be able to sustain three to four times your body weight when you're running every step that you take. So when you're doing body weight squats, that's not necessarily going to be enough. Okay. Um, not only do you need to do higher weights with your strength training, but you also need to be doing um, some sort of plyometric exercise in order to train the tendons and train the neurologic system to rebound quickly. Um, this is ne definitely not being done in most physical therapy clinics that I've seen. Um, and it's not preparing uh, runners for uh, the activity that they're trying to return to. Um, so one way that you can do this on your own, and something that's actually really helpful with return to running, is jump rope. So doing like uh, single leg jump rope, or alternating legs when you're doing jump rope. Um, think about how similar that is to running, okay? Quickly rebounding from one foot to the other, um, through the gastroc, through the quads, uh, very similar. So I think that's something that definitely needs to be incorporated in more running rehab. Um, 
Another thing is actual walking programs. So walking and transitioning into running programs. So you you know necessary you would probably start with you know having the patient run or sorry walk on a treadmill or maybe walk outside on their own uh say 10 minutes. And it depends on the patient, depends on their tolerance, but have them start low, right? Um and then gradually incorporate running into that. You, you don't just give them these seated, uh, unweighted strengthening exercises and then expect them to um, be able to attenuate the force or to, re to be able to accept the force through the tendons and the muscles that have been injured. It's just that body doesn't work that way. So anyway, um, I guess the major key points are that I don't think that most physical therapy clinics um, have a good knowledge of uh, return to running because they're not properly loading and preparing the body um, in the ways that we discussed. So if you do have any questions, uh, once again, my name is Dr. Cameron Dennis, physical therapist for Back on Track Therapy and Wellness. And um, thank you for watching.